सतीश थलंगे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वॉल्चन इंस्टीट्यूट टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी मिनिमाइजेशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन ऑफ द लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग ग्राफिकल मेथड इन टूडे सेशन द लर्नर इज गोइंग टू डिटरमाइन द सोल्यूशन ऑफ लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम फॉर मिनिमाइजिंग ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन यूजिंग द ग्राफिकल मैथड Now let us see what is the linear programming problem. The linear programming problem is a mathematical modeling technique in which the following terms are involved. Here the objective function is a first term which is defining the maximize and minimize case. Second is the end decision variables presence is the non-negative variables which are subjected to the set of constraints expressed by linear equations. it may be equality or inequality equations the object of the linear programming problem is to maximize the profit benefits production of goods etc second to minimize the time loss and the wastage of resource etc finally it is planning and making of decision about resource allocation now the particular linear programming problem can be solved by following method that is graphical method it is also known as two variable method second simplex method third big m method and last is two phase method now let us see what is the graphical method the graphic graphical method is suitable for solving the linear program problem having only two variables it is going to find out the feasible region satisfying most of the constraints present in the problem and it helps to find out the highest and the lowest point on the graph which is going to give the optimum solution according to the case these are the steps involved in the solving of the linear programming problem by the graphical method now let us start to solve the particular problem of minimize case this is a problem in which the municipal having the water system for the distribution here they are distributing the water by the gravitational method but they are facing the problem in the distribution so they are finally interested to place the mechanical pumps for the distribution and they are interested to find out the pressure required minimum pressure required by the both the methods you can say gravitational method as well as mechanically pump that water distribution should be properly they are saying that they have three stations housing estate a b and c and these are the particularly pressures with the gravitational method and the mechanical method for the each station now let us start to convert the particular problem in the lpp form as we have seen in the first step our objective is to minimize the pressure required in the municipality for the water distribution x1 and x2 are the two non negative variables of gravitational method and the mechanical booster pumps as it is a case of minimizing the pressure or to find out the minimum pressure minimize minimize case is equal to that is equal to 2x1 plus 8x2 in step we are observing that there are the set of constraints for the each stations a b and c these are the particularly constraints for the a b and c finally we have to give the restriction to the non negative variables this is a plot with of the particular problem in the graphical method here there are the three lines which are highlighting the three constraints that is of housing estate a housing estate b and housing estate c as we are seeing that each estate having the restriction of the pressure in the first estate they are saying that the pressure should not be of 24 kN per meter square and in the for housing estate b the pressure should not be more than 132 kilo newton per meter square and for the estate c it should not be less than 12 kilo newton per meter square 
with the help of the particular equation that are inequality equation which are going to be converted to equality to get the values of x1 and x2 by of, by obtaining these values we are going to plot these lines now we have to finalize the areas this is a slide which is showing the areas here or the arrows of two lines are towards the origin and one of the arrow is away from the origin here the particularly first and second constraints having the limitations of the pressure so they have maximum so they are towards the origin and the third they are saying that minimum 12 kN per meter square the pressure is required that's why their arrows are away from the origin when we are observing this particular graph we are getting three areas area x area y and area z out of this three areas area x is only satisfying the first constraint that is of housing estate a and second area y it is satisfying the all three constraints that is housing estate a housing estate b and housing estate c and the particular area z is only satisfying the third constraint or you can say the area z is only satisfying the one constraint here when we see this particular area only area y is satisfying all the constraints that's why it is a feasible region now let us see the corner points of the feasible region to get the optimal solution once we see points on the boundary of the feasible region b c e f and the point p are the points which are lying on the boundaries of feasible region now let us get the values or you can say the coordinates values of the particular points here b c e f and p having the coordinate values as shown on the slide now let us place these values in the objective function this is a table which is showing you the various point b c p e f and its coordinates values these values are going to be placed in the objective function and we will get the value of z when we observe this particular column of z value we are observing that for the point b we are getting z is equal to 96 for c we are getting z is equal to 37.7 for p it is getting 66 7 for e it is getting 24 and for f it is getting 48 here yeah, as we are interested to minimize the pressure or we are interested to find out the minimum pressure for the municipal water supply line we have to select such a point which is satisfying all the constraint of housing estate a b and c when we are seeing this column we are saying that we are getting that minimum water pressure we are observing here it is 24 but this is a point e which is only satisfying the third you can say which is only satisfying the third constraint so we have to select such a point which is satisfying all the constraint here we when we observe this graph p is a point see as i'm shown here point of intersection p which is satisfying all the constraint of housing state a b and c and the z value here it is 66 kilonewton per, per meter square now finally we are getting the optimum solution that is a p is a point which is giving the optimum solution of minimum pressure required in the municipality to supply the water here it is a point which is having the a coordinate value 15 and 4.5 when we place this in the particular objective function we are getting 66 kilonewton which is the minimum pressure required for the municipality now let us see the particular comparison in maximize case we are going to maximize the particular benefits and here we are going to minimize the images like wastage of resource loss etc here 
in the maximize case the resource limitations are always there but in the minimize case resource limitations may or may not be there here the feasible region is most of the time it is bonded here the feasible region may or may not be bonded here we are going to find out the optimum point by selecting within the bonded region or you can say feasible region or on the boundary of the feasible region here similarly we are going to find out the optimum point which is lying within the bonded or unbonded feasible region the optimum point are the points which are far away from the origin and in the minimize case the optimum point are closer to the origin finally there is one more check the iso profit line is used in the maximize case and the iso loss line is used in the minimize case to get the optimum solution select the correct answers for the question hope so you have selected the correct answer these are the references for the today's session thank you